Imagine you can build a spaceship which can travel to anywhere in the universe in an instant. If you wanted to travel to the centre of the universe, which direction should you head off in? Would you find the origins of the Big Bang there, or does such a place even exist? Let's find out. From the 4th century BCE to the 17th century CE, the geocentric model was the leading theory of the universe. With Earth at its centre, the Sun, Moon and stars all revolved around us. By the 1600s, the centre of the universe had shifted from the Earth to the Sun. Originally proposed by Copernicus in 1543, the heliocentric model wasn't widely accepted until further discoveries from the likes of Galileo, Kepler and Newton in the 17th century. Today, our current cosmological theory is that of an expanding universe. A universe which is so vast and possibly infinite that the Earth and our solar system is just a tiny speck of light in an ocean of darkness. But is there a place in the universe which we can point to and say, that's the centre, that's where the Big Bang started? Well, no, not exactly. The universe began with the Big Bang about 14 billion years ago. Any regular explosion has a central point, so it makes sense to believe that the Big Bang had one too. However, the Big Bang wasn't like a regular explosion, but was more like a massive expansion which happened everywhere at once. In other words, it is the expansion of space itself, not the expansion of things in space, and it is expanding equally at all places, rather than from a central point. To help us understand this, we can look at the famous balloon analogy, first presented by Arthur Eddington in 1933. Imagine a balloon with dots placed randomly on the surface. As you inflate the balloon, the dots get further and further away from each other. This is similar to the expansion of the universe, with the balloon's surface representing the universe and each of the dots as galaxies. No matter which dot you are located on, it will look as if you are at the centre of the expansion, with everything moving away from you. So in other words, there is no centre of the universe. Or if you want to feel special, you could say that wherever you currently are, whether that's here on planet Earth or over on planet Kashyyyk, you are at the centre of the universe. You might be thinking that the more we learn about the cosmos, the more insignificant we become. We've gone from being at the very centre of the universe to just one of a billion planets in our own galaxy, the Milky Way which is one of approximately 2 trillion galaxies in the universe. If this makes you feel a bit small, then consider that it's really all just a matter of perspective. When we compare ourselves to the largest things in the universe, we also have to compare ourselves with the smallest. From the largest thing we can measure, the observable universe, down to the smallest possible scale, the Planck length, there are about 60 orders of magnitude separating them. In their book, The View from the Centre of the Universe, Joel Primack and Nancy Abrams represent the universe as the cosmic Ouroboros, the snake eating its own tail. Starting from the largest and moving clockwise, we have the observable universe, a supercluster of galaxies, a single galaxy, the distance from Earth to the Great Nebula in Orion, the solar system, the sun, the Earth, a mountain, humans, an ant, a single-celled creature such as the E. coli bacterium, a strand of DNA, an atom, a nucleus, the scale of the weak interactions, dark matter particles, a grand unified theory and, at the very smallest end of the scale, the Planck length. On this scale, from the largest to the very smallest, humans fall pretty much right in the middle. Insignificantly small compared to galaxies in the universe, but giants when compared to atoms, does this mean anything? Probably not. But like our old geocentric model of the universe, it feels good to be back in the middle. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to see more videos like this one. You can watch my previous video on the unexpected hanging paradox by clicking here. Or you can check out another space related video by clicking here. See you next time.